The governor has already talked about how state revenues went down late last year. His new budget mantra is do no harm. Republican House Minority Leader Ken Fredette is one of the few lawmakers getting a heads up about the administration's plan. Quite frankly, you probably see spending cuts proposed, um, probably uh, reductions in workforce um, and an income tax cut. And so this is going to be a really tough budget. I, I suspect it'll take five months at least to get this thing done, and it's going to take a lot of work. Democratic House Speaker Sarah Gideon says she last spoke with the governor on Thursday. We're open to seeing what the governor presents, but what we want to make sure is that we have government that is working for people. We don't start with the size of something, we start with the function of something and what people's needs are. There are also burning questions about implementing Maine's new marijuana law. Some Republicans hope to slow the rollout, but Democratic Senate Minority Leader Troy Jackson says the voters have spoken. I don't think uh, you know we need to have a 12 or 18 month moratorium. I think we just need to dig in and uh, clear up uh, who's going to handle it, what the costs are, uh, you know, where the money goes. However, both Speaker Gideon and Republican Senate President Mike Thibodeau think Maine may need more than nine months to figure out how to regulate and tax legal pot. I'll be surprised if uh, if the other side doesn't uh, recognize some of the shortcomings of what was passed uh, and be willing to have discussions surrounding it. I think both of us are not sure that's the right amount of time and I am willing to look at pushing that out a little bit further. He and I are discussing that right now. I think we'll probably come to an agreement in the next couple of days. And there's also a public meeting scheduled for tomorrow afternoon about that controversial step-down state psychiatric facility. It was supposed to be built at Riverview and Augusta. After Democrats stalled the process late last year, the administration started pushing an alternate construction plan in Bangor. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.